Yes, behind the uh, behind one of the Manchester Wood Mount Equinox on that side, and into. I was born in Reading, Vermont. By gunsmith John Dowd in Goshen, Connecticut. <laughs> so he died in March. Luckily. I am Franklin Orvis, and let me tell you a little bit about my claim to fame. Now, don't confuse me with my brother Charles. He created the Orvis Company, but he and I loathed each other, which is why he is buried down in the Whipple Cemetery while I'm here. Now, my father came to this town in 1820, and he ran a mercantile and marble business. He met my mother, and on July 12, 1824, I was born. I spent most of my time learning in my father's business and uh, I also went to the community schools in the area. Then I attended the Burn Burton Seminary which is now the Burn Burton Academy. After that I went to the Union Village School in Greenwich, New York. Now in 19, 1852 I married Sarah Whitten and together we had six boys. My, my, my son George took over the business when I died in the year 1900. In 1869, I was elected to the state senate for the Bennington County Republican Party. My brother Charles was a Democrat, one of the reasons why we loathed each other so much. And I t continued these endeavors until my death in 1900. Now, how many of you have seen that giant hotel in downtown Manchester, the Equinox Hotel and Resort? Well, let me tell you how that came to be. In the year 1849, my father passed away. And in the year 1852, I moved into his house, and I decided to turn it into a summer resort. I was a tad surprised at how successful it was, but don't get me wrong, I was convinced from the very beginning that it would be a successful endeavor. I just never imagined how successful it would be. So, in 1853, I found it necessary to expand, so I included my father's store and called it the Equinox House. The Equinox House is a perfect place for people to come and enjoy the beauty of nature in a remote peacefulness. As news got out about this resort, more and more people came and further expansions became necessary. In 1858, I took the house on the east side and accommodated it so that guests could stay there. And then I also funded the building of the Equinox Pond that same year. Then in 1880, I needed it to be even bigger, so I bought the Taconic House. Now, originally they were connected by a second story walkway. It wasn't until the renovations of the 1980s that they were built together. Over the years, as popularity increased, we needed to make even more renovations and it eventually became the Equinox Hotel that's in, he, present here today. Now, I had some other hotel endeavors down in Florida, but I would always come home and summer in the Equinox until my death in 1900 when George took over the business. Now when he died in the year 1917, his wife Louise took over running of the business. So that's how the hotel came to be in the center of Manchester. I hope you've enjoyed meeting with me and I hope you go and stay in my beautiful hotel. <laughs>